Chris Middleton is back in Aggieland, fresh off his rookie season with the Detroit Pistons. 12th Man TV catches up with him right now. And Chris, just if I look back at your first year in Detroit, the stats look pretty good. You played in 27 games, 6.1 points per contest. Did it feel good to you? Uh, it felt good. You know, I wasn't playing at the beginning of the year, but I uh, just kept working. I uh, kept trying to get better each day, and I finally got my chance at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. What were the big adjustments? Everybody says when you jump up a level, you always got to make some sort of changes. It probably happened to you from going to high school here to A&M. What were the big adjustments you had to make in the NBA? Uh, the speed of the game is definitely one, and uh, just the physicality of the game is, is also takes a big step at the next level. I think once you figure out those two, I mean, you learn how to play. Mm -hmm. That three-point arc's a little further too, isn't it? I mean, and the three-point ball was was a big part of your game here at A&M. Yeah, it definitely was. I definitely made a, a big time to focus on that uh, during my workouts, just extending my range and being confident in that three-point shot. Was there a moment in your rookie season, maybe it was in a game, where it really clicked with you saying, hey, this is NBA basketball, I, I'm here now? Uh, it was definitely playing against guys uh, that you grew up watching, uh, Kobe Bryant, Paul Pierce, all uh, LeBron James. Just seeing those guys play on the same court as you, uh, you're like, okay, I'm here now. Mm -hmm. yeah. In Detroit, I guess, a little bit of a weather adjustment too, isn't there? Definitely. Never uh, grew up in the snow, never was in it, and I was in it 24-7 there. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on your future with that franchise? I know at the moment you're going through a coaching change. Yeah, it's difficult, but I, I think I, I'm, I can have a great future with this team uh, as long as I keep working, improving, uh, just trying to do the right things. Uh, I think I can have a, a great career there. Mm -hmm. And as far as the future is concerned, what's important to you in the coming months? I mean, we got you back here at A&M today, but how, how would you describe what you're about to do here in the next month or two? Uh, it's just uh, trying to make strides in every part of my game, uh, getting stronger and just, just getting better every day. I think that's something you have to uh, tell yourself when you wake up every day. Were you able to uh, catch much Texas A&M basketball this first year in the SEC? Yeah, I try to catch as much as I can. I told the guys I watched as many games as I could. Uh, I always saw bits and pieces of them, but I always kept up with them. Mm -hmm. And your thoughts on the guys that are here, and uh, you, you worked with some of this coaching staff. Uh, it was an 18 and 15 year for A&M, just missing out on 20 wins, just missing out on the postseason. Do you feel like there's a bright future down here? I definitely think so. They got some young guys and some good pieces. And I think uh, they're just making a step in the right direction. Uh, uh, each year. All right, thanks for the time and all the best uh, as you move forward with Detroit. All right, thanks. That's Chris Middleton right here on 12th Man TV.